Hello YouTube, it's your friend Rai here with another history video. This time we're talking about history of Oak Mulga, Oklahoma. First off, before I get into this video, we're going to listen to some music of country. I guess in the film of this history show. Well, stay tuned to the end. Thank you and have a nice day. Okay, we're going to get in this video here. It's uh, the history of Oak Mulgee. So, Oak Mulgee, the county city of Oak Mulgee County, is located 14 miles north of Interstate 40 on U.S. Highway 6275. The town was founded after the Civil War in 1868 when the Creek Nation began restoring order to the devastated homeland and came to get together in a general council to establish a capital building. A post office opened there on April 29, 1869, under the spelling Oak Mulkey, until November 15, 1883, when it became Oak Mulkey. The name is Creek word Oak Mulkey, meaning boiling waters, and is taken from the, a town and their native region. In present, Russell Count, Alabama President, Ulysses, U.S.S. Grant, Appointed Captain Frederick B. Silvers to serve as Oak Mulgee's first postmaster. Before we go any further with this video, I'm not taking no credit of this at all. If you want to look where this history is at, go on Oak Mulgee Historical Society. All right, back to the the history lesson. Okay, the council house that was a two-story log council house of the Na Creek Nation. So the council house was. To a two-story log cabin, basically. Uh, the Creek Nation was constructed near the edge of the stand of timber and quickly became the center of town. In 1878, a fire destroyed the council house and a stone structure was built in this place. Creek Country ha Council House received designation as a National Historical Landmark in 1961 and was listed in the National Reservation of History Place in 1966. After restoring was complete in 1993, the capital served as a museum with displays exhibits reflecting the history of Oak Mulgee area and the Creek Nation. Oak Mulgee remains the home of a Muscogee Creek Nation tribal complex. The following complaint of St. Louis, Oklahoma, Southern Railway, later the St. Louis and San Francisco Railway in 1900, Oak Mulgee entered into the new progressive era of expansion and influx of investors and home seekers to promote the platinum of houses, additions, and extension water. Natural gas, telephone, electric systems were installed. At 1907, say, the town had 2,322 residents and was designed as the governmental seat of Oak Mulgee County. Construction on the present co county courthouse began in 1916. The local income was based on the product of coal and nearby mines as well as agriculture. Cash crops included cotton, corn, fed greens, foregrigs, and truck farming. Dairying and poultry raising was important as well. Railroads furnished market access for these products. A cotton gins and grain elevate provided service by 1910. The population had reached 4,176 and supported five banks. 
the town became a manufacturing center in the 1910s. 1910s, and by the 1918 the facility included three founder and machine shops, three glass factories, and a barter factory. Citizens could choose among daily and weekly newspaper, include today's Oatmore Daily Times, which was first printed in 1911. It came to be published at the end of the 12th century. Other long-lived publishers were the Mulgee Daily Democrat from 1913 through 1932, and the Elmore County News from 1949 through 1984. Following the discovery of the new nearby Mills and Lucky Oil Pools, in 1906, the town expanded into a 20 block square around the council house. Five local refineries were operation by the early 1920s. Streetcars provided transport to and from businesses, and the government officials, ballroom oil company officials, and home at the finest architect during the 1930s. Great Depression oil production decreased, and Elmore found a boom to bust Caledonia, like numerous other Oklahoma towns. In 1986, Oakmore citizens successfully applied to the Oklahoma Department of Commercial to participate in the Oklahoma's Main Street program with this historical preserve pro project. Numerous buildings around the town square will reap habitation to the ordinary appearance. Rejuvenate businesses on Main Streets. In 2002, the city was chosen as one of the top five Great American Main Streets. In 1992, the Oak Murray Downtown Historical District was added to the National Reservation of Historical Places. The oil boom bought the city's population on Box B 35,000 during the 1920s. Subsequently, the Great Depression in World War II caused that figure to drop from 17,097 in the 1930s to 16,051 in 1940. After an increase in 18,317 in 1950, the population fell to 15,180 in 1970, but grew to 16,263 in 1980. There was 13,441 residents in 1999, 13,022 in 2000, 12,031 in 2010. In 2000, Oakmore admission by a manager form of government. And 379 business operate construction retail trade, healthcare and social assistance, and hotel and food service were among the town's lead industrial. Local property included in the National Reservation of the Oak Mulgee National Guard Armory, the Oak Mulgee County Courthouse, and the Oak Mulgee Stock Private. Oak Mulgee remains the home of Muskogee Creek Nation Tribal Complex west of town. Lake Oak Mulgee and Oak Mulgee State Park provide water to the city and recreations for, for the area residents, but especially Oak Mulgee negatively include actor William Sampson, 1933 to 1887, a branch of Oklahoma State University and the Green Country Technology Center, serve local students. Well, that's the end of the history of Oak Mulgee. Last but not least, I, why I said before, I'm not taking no part of this. Of, re of owning this what I wrote. If, if you want to check this out, again, go to Oak Morgan Historical Society. That has good stuff for you to research center, Oak Morgan History Center, museums. It tells you a lot about Oak Morgan. If you really like this, please watch, subscribe, like, comment, and more. And then I will start bringing music into my videos if I have something good to video. Okay? Good. Take care and have a good rest of night or day. And talk to you later on the power of the internet. With Fry Hollingsworth. Bye. And take care.